as of right now, we still do not have a statement from the Carolina Panthers or from David Tepper about the heinous, unforgivable, terrible, disgusting act of him throwing a fourth of Pino at a Jaguar fan from his suite at the game on Sunday. You know, with concerts. The David Tepper, we're calling it Drinkgate. David Tepper Drinkgate. This is such a non-story. A hilarious, dumb controversy that the overreactions might be the funniest part about it. You see people already citing, hey, 24 of the 32 owners, they vote to boot this guy out. He might be out. You see the stuff that Dan Schneider did for 15, 20 years, and he didn't even get 24 owners to vote against him? He's going nowhere. There is no greater sports hell and purgatory than rooting for a team with a bad owner. You can trade the quarterback. You can fire the coach. That guy stays. Ask Nick fans. I'm a Baltimore Orioles fan. We've dealt with that too. The Panthers have a David Tepper problem. That's clear. But don't try to get me to care about him throwing a drink or throwing contents of a beverage at fans at a Jaguar game. This is more fun to talk about than the Panthers' performance on Sunday, which was their worst of the year, and that is saying something. But this story itself, it's a non-story. The NFL has to prepare. They have to pretend to care about it, just like when a player gets in trouble off the field. At least in that instance, though, somebody actually gets hurt. Nobody got hurt here. However, WD, if it were me and somebody threw alcohol on me, if it, if, and if that person was worth $20 billion like David Tepper is, I'm pretending to have every injury in the book. Oh, I needed to go to the hospital. I've got internal bleeding. Well, not only that, but with the coverage it got. The alcohol, it gave Monday. me a concussion. He hit me and I had a concussion. Like, there are people saying crazy stuff. I can't stuff. swim. Ah, <laughs> there are people saying that this is going to be a six-figure settlement. No, it's not. Well, that's only because he's a billionaire, and they're like, it has to mean something. I've got internal bleeding. He hit me with a drink and got me right on the arm. Uh, the damage is the embarrassment to my I'm family. Uh, the embarrassment to my family. No one could even make out who was hit by it. Oh, the videos. It's been hard for us to deal with. So hard. <laughs> Here's probably the most un unpopular opinion. Something that I'm sure my account would get locked out of Twitter if I express, because I haven't seen anybody express this opinion, but it is how I feel. Some fans deserve to have a drink thrown on them. Some do. Now, is it a good look for the Panthers? Obviously not. It's not. But there is a reason, I believe, why this video had no audio attached to it. There are some things that you can say that are over the line that warrant you having a drink thrown at you. Probably. Some fans probably should have drinks thrown on them. You see the Texas fans last night going after the Washington guys saying, remember me, remember this face. Like, their kids next to them. Like, that guy probably should have a drink thrown on him. Probably should. Like, you can cross the line. But the biggest mistake that the Panthers have made, and it's a staggering oversight, is not putting out a statement and apologizing for it a couple of days ago. Like, think about it. This story would be over. Over. No one talking about it today. If the Panthers just put out a statement, because think about it, it was on New Year's Eve that this happened. You think with the games happening later that night and the playoff games yesterday, you think two days later after the Panthers apologized for it, people were still talking about this. If the Panthers have, have just owned it and acknowledged it, of course not. They're not. The only reason people are talking about it now is because nobody has taken accountability for it or acknowledged it on the Panthers. And that is weird. That is strange, and it's bad PR strategy. It really is. It's almost as bad as firing a coach and then the next day having a press conference, assumedly, to talk about the firing of that coach, and then for 10 minutes, you only talk for 10 minutes, and 
During those 10 minutes, you say you don't want to get into why you fired the coach. It was concerts. <laughs> Instead, you want to talk about take credit for Leo Messi packing Bank of America Stadium and all your blessed concerts. What do you want to do? You know, with concerts. Don't let anybody tell you that this isn't funny. <laughs> don't don't let anybody rob you of that joy. Did you see Scott Fitter also beside him? Oh he was he was he didn't do anything. <laughs> I saw somebody make that their profile picture he on Twitter. Like the Kevin James meme. Yeah. <laughs> he did. So Had his hands good. in his pockets. It was that's, almost like that's he wasn't, a funny piece. He wasn't surprised at anything. Somebody any of worth twenty billion dollars drinking white wine from a plastic cup. That's <laughs> funny. That makes me laugh. And then, of course, the the cup flip <laughs> that had me howling. Like he spun the cup as yeah. if he was a player <laughs> getting a first down, spinning the ball. Like, He's trying to do the little challenge thing they used to do. Yeah. <laughs> the to flip the cup or bottle howling when I saw that. <laughs> so don't let anybody tell you this isn't funny and it's a non-story. And sometimes people deserve having drink thrown on them. You know, with concerts sometimes shifting things tonight, busy sports night, not just ACC basketball where you got three games, all of which involve big four schools. You have the Hornets? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> they still have seven wins, WD. They didn't get any more? Still have seven wins. Wow. How many in a row have they lost? Too many. Like, it feels like we were off all of last week, and it feels like they had seven wins when we took off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So ridiculous. They're, they're going for the Detroit Pistons streak that was snapped over the weekend. 11 in a row. They're almost halfway there. Give it's it time. Night, it's night two of a back-to-back. The Hornets facing the Sacramento Kings. Last night, they were leading for much of the first three quarters against the defending champs, the Nuggets, but didn't quite work out for them, as you can imagine. In Sacramento tonight, I have a feeling they're not going to snap the 11-game losing streak. I doubt it. At Sacramento on the back end of back-to-back <laughs> nights. A good team is the Carolina Hurricanes. The Canes are at MSG facing... They're facing the Rangers. The Rangers have the best record in the Eastern Conference right now. Canes have them tonight. Really important hockey game later. I feel like I didn't address this. Going back to the David Tepper thing real quick. I'm not saying he shouldn't be fined, by the way. Sure, fine him. I don't even know how much to fine him. He's worth... His, his, it's not going to He's out of the hedge fund business, yet his net, net worth continues to grow. Like, he got out of that, and he's worth 13 bill. And then out of the pandemic, he was worth 18 Forbes this week says he's worth 20.6 billion. Do you know how much a billion dollars is? Do you know? I mean, it's a lot of money. Do you know how many millions a, is a billion dollar? A thousand. A thousand. Of them. A thousand millions. That's a lot. Of times 20. That's David Tepper. Sure. Find him. Suspend him for one last game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. The NFL has to do something to pretend to care. But sometimes fans deserve to have a drink thrown in. There's my hot take.